Hello everybody, welcome back, David here, um, and this week's, or this fortnight's video is of a project for my sort of audiobook sort of movie thingy. Um, basically I have a long term project that I'm going to try and animate my first book, Rise of Hawk, fully in Minecraft. It's, it's quite a challenge particularly as I have a zero dollar budget and just me to do all the work. So we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> but part of the um, process of preparing is making sets. Can you guess what this is? This part is part of the set. Scene three. Um, part one, scene three. And I've already, I've been picking away that just because I get bored and do stuff. I've been designing an agency patrol vehicle, which is there, you can see behind me. <clears throat> um, I think that should do. I've got a banner that might, I even have it in my inventory. Uh, there it is. <clears throat> It's very close to the symbol that um, I've been using. I just quite, haven't quite figured out where to put it or if it's necessary. It's the nearest to the, the actual symbol that my friend Heather designed for the agency <clears throat> that we can make in Minecraft. But it, it, it looks like a banner attached to a car, not, not actually a, a thingy on the car. So, not sure, but um, so this is part of the set. Uh, Talon comes out of the out of his apartment, well, his abandoned apartment, running from the agency. Comes down here, uh, runs like heck. <clears throat> so I've done most of this. I have to finish or completely redo the uh, apartment but it's okay here is supposed to be a building it, it's currently an empty lot can you tell <laughs> um, I haven't decided what kind of building yet to do I have an idea of like a, a sort of brick sort of mid to upmarket apartment building because a lot of these buildings are around here are built based on buildings in relatively upmarket places. See for that one, those ones upwards. These one, this and further up are all old, so they're they're less uh, pretty. I haven't upgraded them yet, but they'll get it'll get like ten seconds of screen time, so or half a second screen time. This was built as based on something in New York. For example, the, the big building in the background is uh, something, I think it's in Wellington. I can't remember, it was like two years ago. And this was something else entirely. It's a, um, an abandoned building. So it's all boarded up and stuff. I've had to keep the light on inside because um, one day I'm going to turn the... the um, turn it off of peaceful and it, I don't want it to become a uh, mob uh, farm but yes the target is to fill this empty space with a building of some variety it has to be at least as tall as this one ideally as tall as this one probably here so then it can attach to that and the side of this building won't look quite so uh, artificial so once step one is to figure out what building I want to put in here I have the image that the vague image of a, uh, a a brick sort of brick fancy apartment building like you see in really big cities but I have to find one first um, and if I find something better I'll do that instead <laughs> So we'll, we'll see what happens, see what the universe and the internet uh, put in front of me. 
So, as always, wish me luck and cue the music. No, I don't like it. It's all wrong. These windows are far too wide. That entrance looks all chunky and boring. It also needs to be two doors wide, not one. The colour and texture balance is all wrong. There's not enough fine details and the scale is too skewed. To have windows that wide, it would need to be at least another one or three sets of windows wide and at least three times as tall. Looks like a caricature, not a building. I do not like it. Next question is how to fix it. Perhaps if I start with the windows and go from there. Hmm? All right, cue the music again. And welcome back. The uh, re-edit of the building, I think, looks a lot better than the first version I tried. I'm still much better at doing replicas of real buildings than designing my own. I saw a building that I, I really liked the look of, but um, I wanted to sort of mix the color, the thematic color of that building with that building so they sort of melded into each other and it, it didn't just didn't quite work <laughs> but the the second attempt as you saw in the montage um i think that's a little bit better quite a bit better um you i've also off screen did a bit of texturing on the floor on the sidewalk sidewalk alleyway and um, I put in this chimney I I'm not entirely happy with it um, it's totally the wrong shape 
um, and that if you lived in this as a like a, a a living building, that would be a really bad place for a fireplace. You'd probably have uh, two, like one here and one here, or like two in the middle. Or, I don't know, because um, my image of this was actually sort of like two apartments, one that way, one that way, and then a stairwell in the middle to access or like apartment on each level with a stairway in the middle hence why the roof is double like that but um, I need the chimney because in the prose it's described that you look up the alley and it looks like a dead end alley until you run and you jump over this uh, knee high wall and there's more alley out to another street and the only way to make that look like an empty uh, a dead end alley is to do that with the uh, chimney and because it's not going to be currently not going to be any sort of stage or set or anything I thought eh, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect also the the screen that the the camera angle is probably only going to be like a moment to show this part and then a moment to show this part and then we're going to follow Talon away so it, it's not important to be perfect I also textured the outside the side of the uh, building just to make it a little bit more interesting looking I still don't like the this side of the building this one I might turn that into like a climbing wall or you know like a, a climbing vine sorry or something like that they also upgraded or fixed Talon's uh, kind of apartment it's an abandoned building it's got fire damage all sorts but he's still living in it so it's um I used uh, now that the armor stand mod is working I used it to put stuff on the floor and <clears throat> added other bits of texture this is meant to look like uh, water damage and that sort of the the floorboards are, are rotting and stuff I probably could have put a little bit of scraps of carpet in different areas but I think that's that's uh, textured enough also put a bed here because um, he'll be lying in this corner curled up on the floor but you can't get a character lying on the floor you have to have a bed to have the the avatar sleep um, this is a technically it would be a window that opens but windows don't open in Minecraft so I, I did this trick with the the boards so that he could at least go down and then into the street it's quite difficult to adapt uh, Minecraft limitations to reflect stuff in a real story but um, yeah I'm not perfectly happy with this building but I like I like the shapes I really do like using anvils as sort of the ends of pillars it adds extra shape extra sort of sticky outy bits and also bringing forward the middle windows gave it more shape I might make these like oops it's too angular here too thick I don't know hmm. haven't decided I'll probably come back and fiddle I usually do that I have that bad days where I'm bored out of my brain and I go onto the game and I look for stuff to fix <laughs> um, so well we'll see what happens for now until next time 
Adanichasa.